What's good, Tampa? Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm gonna to do a hot sauce review of Florida Man's Hot Sauce. And I'm also gonna show you one of my favorite places to do a picnic right here on the beach. So let's go ahead and get started. Pump, it's, this way is Upham Beach. So this is a really cool place. If you've never been here before, it's right there in St. Pete Beach, but a great location, like I said, for a picnic. So I'm bringing the hot sauce with me and me and Fitz are gonna have our own little picnic right out here on the beach. It's gonna be so cute. And I'm surprised that how packed it is right now down here. It is slammed, but let me tell you, it's a great spot again if you wanna play volleyball, just come down here, sit on the beach for a while, meet some people. It's awesome, awesome location. I haven't shown you the hidden gem yet, and just a little sneak peek, if, if you look all the way down at the end, that's basically where we're going. And I'm gonna be tasting out Florida Man's hot sauce. I'm really excited they're a sponsor of the What's Good Tampa Show, the number one podcast in Tampa. And uh, yeah, let's just get started because I love spicy food and I've been thinking about this all day. Yeah, this is a great, great location, great place to take some photos, like I said, and have a picnic, which we're about to do, and try Florida Man's hot sauce. So follow me this way. This place is cool. Like I said, I've been here before, but it's got all these different little spaces with benches, places to sit. Everyone can be nice and spread out. It's almost like a zen type of feeling in here. It's different than just being on the beach. That is zen too. But this little garden, again, I talk about it all the time how we like live in Paris. I mean, look at this. This is paradise. I'm about to have lunch and try out one of my favorite things, hot sauce, with a view like that. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. That is what living in Florida, Tampa Bay is all about. We're putting Florida Man's hot sauce to the test today, so with some public subs, of course. No. I'm going to be generous here. All right, here we go. Public's classic with the sub, always on point. There's that hot sauce. It reminds me of like, the flavor reminds me a little bit of Tabasco, but it's definitely, it's definitely got more of a kick to it than that. It's a little, it's a little hotter than that. On a heat level, it's above Tabasco. So if you like spice, this is really, really good. It's also got um, kind of like a nice, uh, it's not overwhelming, but the heat kind of, oh, he kind of stays a little bit. <laughs> I'm liking it a lot. Like I'm, I'm excited to have this now at my house that I can go to instead of some of the uh, name brand hot sauces I've been using because I love to support veterans. Again, veteran owned company. And not only, you know, is it, like really cool with the branding and branded Florida man, kind of like I brand myself. Um, kind of great flavor, no lie. I mean, so thanks Florida man for sponsoring the What's Good Tampa show, um, Tampa's number one podcast, and um, making a great product to be honest with you. So definitely, I recommend go find them. Fitz, can you throw up on the screen where to find them? FloridaManHotSauceCompany.com. That's where you can buy some of this hot sauce. Yeah, cheers. I also like companies with a sense of humor. This is funny. Shake well, use often, refrigerate after opening, burn after reading. <laughs> That's funny. But um, yeah, some good ingredients, including guava, another Tampa thing. So awesome. Yeah. Scotch. Yes. Look at this. Scotch bonnet and guava hot sauce. I love it. Very good stuff. All right, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little spot. Come down here yourselves. Tag us in the photos and the pictures if you do. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, check out Florida Man's Hot Sauce, and we'll see you guys in the next video.